A story along the lakefront with real attraction, you might say, a massive magnet stuck to the pier. Oh, it's very stuck. Like, it doesn't even budge. Madigan Burke of Rogers Park went out on Monday to do some magnet fishing at Montrose Harbor using a brand new terror magnet with a pulling power of 2,200 pounds. Madigan was hoping to pull up some scrap metal for an art project, but on the first toss into the water, it stuck to the metal wall. Well, I had the really big feeling of excitement that I had caught like a shopping cart or like a bike, and it was really heavy, and I was pulling it in, and then all of a sudden I did hear like a shunk. After hours of trying and failing, Failing to free the magnet, Madison left some handwritten notes comparing it to King Arthur's sword in the stone and promising to buy dinner for anyone who could free it, including me. Ah, 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 come on. Come on. No. Oh. <laughs> It's not moving. After seeing the dilemma on social media today, Loyola Law student Jack Balt showed up, stripped down to his swim trunks, and jumped in the freezing water to help. I was able to get my hands on it, but couldn't, like, and was able to move it down a little bit. Just fractionally. Yeah, yeah, a few inches maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe a foot. Balch was able to slide it a bit, but not much more. But then came Hogan McHugh, an engineer who used a contraption called a come-along that's able to pull cars out of the water. And after a few tries, yeah. hey. you got it! Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Don't get too close. It's very magnetic. <laughs> <laughs> so as it turns out, Madigan's going to have to buy not one, but two dinners for the good Samaritans they came to help. At Montrose Harbor, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago. The power of social media Indeed. bringing people together. Yeah, I was expecting a little more of a payload, but that's I know. Yeah. I was well too. Well done. <laughs>